Sometimes when studying biology, things like photosynthesis and respiration, we always focus on, on what's going on inside of one organism. But there's a whole branch of biology that says, okay, we get how one organism works, but how does that one organism work with everything else? And that branch of biology is called ecology. Eco is a root word that means home. So this is the study of our home. How do we and the other organisms in this planet, yeah, they're there too, how do organisms interact with each other and their environment? Now, this can be broken down into things like how do organisms interact with each other? For example, what's the prey of a particular predator? What eats what? What parasitizes what? If you have a tapeworm, you're starting to get into this kind of interactions, and I hope you don't. There's also the study of how organisms interact with the non-living factors in their environment. For example, People who did not understand this started cutting down, deforesting things like the rainforest, and now they're discovering that changed the climate. If you get rid of rainforests, those rainforests are actually contributing to the lot of rain that's helping the farmland near the rainforest. Without the rainforest, oops, your farms start lowering their food production, and you wind up cutting down more rainforest to get more farmland, and it's a bad thing. So it's really important that we understand this stuff. There's also a fair amount of stuff going into how do these non-living parts interact with each other. For example, if you don't understand the water cycle, it's hard to understand why you'll have different interactions. For example, the water cycle is part of what's going on here with the uh, deforestation process. And understanding how currents in the oceans change and respond to changes in heat, for example, of the Earth. Understanding that will help us understand how it's going to impact us. That's ecology. It's the study of us.